Well, um, I think uh, the theme about uh, public uh, financial management is a theme that is always um, mod uh, a modern theme because uh, it's, uh, it has come from a classical uh, classical situation where we used to have the budget being prepared using data of the previous year and try to update with inflation uh, and uh, some additional figures coming from the domestic revenues. But now we have a different situation where we look to the results and uh, we make the programming budget, trying to bring uh, the budget by programs and uh, monitor the results looking to, to what has been planned before. So it is uh, an issue that has been evolving together with the evolution of the societies and the countries. Uh, it is the budget <coughs> that shows if the country is a stable country, it is the budget that shows that it's uh, a country that uh, have, uh, gives priority to the social sectors. If it is a country where democracy is being consolidated, if it's a country in emergency, or it has no problem with emergence, uh, or it's a country that's investing in a sustainable development. So through the figures of the budget, you can read what's going on in each country and compare the countries. So it's the most important instrument of uh, uh, economic policy. And it's used in order to converge the different interests from the stakeholders. Uh, and you can see also the reflection of the manifestos, political manifestos of the parties, and uh, trying to converge with the dreams and visions of the people of the country in terms of long-term vision, why the politician tried to see the five years uh, period of time of the mandate. So in the budget you see the convergence of different interests of the, uh, each country. So I see the evolution of the budget and the financial, the public finance management uh, being done in a way to follow the process of evolution of the development of each country in the world and the way each country does business in order to satisfy the needs of its own people. So I think uh, uh, over the last 15 years, many changes have happened in our countries in terms of uh, covering what have been the change in terms of development, considering the challenge that each country has in terms of uh, what is needed to respond to the needs of the population and uh, the capacity that the country has to respond to this demand of, uh, of the population. In the case of Mozambique, the last 15 years, we embarked in profound uh, reforms in public finance management. We issued laws on public finance administration uh, covering the, from the preparation until the reporting and monitoring system. Uh, we change the capacity of the government to respond to the need of a decentralized budget, uh, the capacity building in the Ministry of Finance and other delegate institutions that are in each ministry, uh, the capacity of reporting in a year-by-year -year basis the general account of the budget, that's an important instrument, because the alignment between what is in the provision for the budget and the execution shows the commitment of the political uh, agenda because you can promise and put in the budget and during the year not execute what is coming from the budget. So the convergence between these two instruments show the commitment of the government in terms of delivering what has been promised. So all these instruments of uh, preparing, planning, executing, <coughs> monitoring, uh, making accountability, reporting, the procurement and uh, audit process have been changed in Mozambique. 
during the last 15 years. We can say in that country now we have uh, a modern budget uh, in all its process of preparation until the moment where you have the execution. Thank you very much.